So a lot of this um, code you'll be able to find in the comments section. So make sure you check out there because I don't want you to, to have to type too much on this one. Um, we're going to use a, a, a function in this, and we're going to make like a little speed, like a little type race thing. Um, so save your thing as a, a .py. Um, I actually saved mine as a .py, .py. It's pretty embarrassing. Um, okay, so basically what I have uh, to begin with is I'm going to have this function, and I'm basically going to have the majority of the coding be in here. So this is kind of like my function section. My main body is going to be pretty simple. Basically, I'm, I'm just going to first take care of importing anything I need to import. I'm going to need to import the idea of random, and uh, I'm going to have to import a timer because I want to have this be a speed uh, event. And it's going to be us versus the computer. So you'll see that I have um, our score is going to be this one at position 0, and the computer score will be at position 1 um, of the, the list score. Now I have a, a list of things that I can type. Feel free to add in your, um, add in your own. Um, and those will be things that I'll have to type back. Um, OK, so let's go inside the game loop. It's going to be really simple um, inside the loop. Uh, I basically need to either check if the game's over, uh, or if it's not over, then let's, let's send it basically into my function. Uh, and that's kind of the beauty of, of functions. Um, we can have kind of the logic, uh, like, the, the, like the layout of our, of our program be simple, um, and then use functions to do kind of all the dirty work. Uh, okay, so basically, let's make it a game to two. So if, um, if the score at position zero is equal to two, or the score um, at position one is equal to two, right? So this will be our break scenario. Uh, I'm going to break it. But before I break it, uh, I'm just going to print off an appropriate um, winner or loser thing. So I'll just copy and paste this from over here. Bam. So if the score um, at position 0 is equal to 2, that means that we won. So we're going to print way to win one for humanity. Oops. Use my tabbing. There we go. So if the score at position zero is equal to two, I'm gonna say way to win one for Mandy. If score equals one um, at position one equals two, that means the computer won. Um, then we're then we're a disgrace. But either way, we're gonna we're gonna break it right after that. So we just put these ifs in there so we can print off the correct message before that. Else, what I want to do is I just basically want to feed my function. So I, I called this one my function a game round because it's just one round of the game. So I'm just going to do game round. Now, what are the things I'm going to have to feed it? Um, I'm going to need to feed it uh, the text speed. So I need to come up with um, an amount of time that they have to hit. So it's going to be random dot rand int. And let's choose. Um, between 7 and 20 seconds. So I'll have between 7 and 20 seconds to basically accomplish this goal. And what are they going to have for a, a text? So the text to basically, the text to copy, right? So the text to copy is going to be, um, it's going to be, I called it master list. At position now which one do I want to select well first thing I have to figure out how many I have so if you just are using mine this is position 0 1 2 and 3 so I need to pick a random number between 0 and 3 not hard brackets and and so it's gonna be oh no I done confused myself So A is going to be a random dot rand int from 0 to 3. And the text that I'm going to need to copy is going to be master list at that position A, that random one. OK. So what will, what will game round need then? Um, let's look how I, I defined it. Basically, all I need to know is the speed of how fast they have to do it, the text that they're shooting for, and the score. 
So I want to put those in this at that same that same uh, in that same order. So I want to give it the text speed. I want to give it the text to copy, and I want to feed it the score. Now you'll notice that um, up here I called um, this text speed and this speed. It doesn't matter. Inside the function I'll have to refer to that value as speed, but it's going to automatically rename that for me. Um, so if you use slightly different words, it won't matter. Um, once you feed the function, it'll, it'll automatically rename it for you. Um, text to copy, same thing. I just rename that text. And score is the exact same, which is, which is nice. Um, okay, so I'm going to ask them if they're ready. Uh, I'm just going to copy and paste this over. So this is going to be the start. So this is a throwaway variable. They're going to enter back. Just basically, they're going to press enter when they're ready. And I don't want that to be set equal to it. I just want to like wait for them to have a response. So you'll be given a message, type, uh, type back, back uh, the forward slash in, and we're just going to put it on new line. No, it doesn't have to be perfect. It has to be done in less than blank amount of seconds. And so I use speed, which is whatever text speed was, which was whatever that random number between 7 and 20 was. Um, so now I'm going to start the, start the timer. So I'm going to do a start start time, which is going to be equal to default timer, which is something that I imported, right? OK. And I'm going to give them the text to repeat. So I'm going to say uh, this, their answer. Easier to read if you do it like that. So their answer is going to be equal to the input of um, type this text. And then I'm going to drop that text in there for them. Format. Now, uh, the text that I want them to type is literally just called text. That's the thing that got inputted. The round text was the thing that got, the text to copy was the thing that got inputted. Um, now I want them to do that um, on one line below. So I'm going to do a forward slash in there. Um, that way it'll say like, you know, be prepared is the best Disney song. And they'll type it underneath instead of uh, side by side. It'll make it a little bit um, easier. So once they, once they type it, it'll give them a message. They type it, boom, they click enter. Now I want to stop the timer. So I want to have a stop time, basically. And it's going to be set to whatever the default timer says it is. So how am I going to calculate the total time it took? So the total, the total time is going to be equal to um, basically the, the, stop, the stop time minus the start time. So if I subtract those two, um, it will give me the total time. So now I need to figure out who won, right? So if if the total if the total time is less than or equal to um, the speed in which they were supposed to do it, and their answer is equal to what I said the text should be, because remember I got the speed that they're trying to hit which I said they have to do it in that many seconds. So their total time has to be less than that speed. And additionally, their answer, which they gave me right here, has to be equal to the text that I said by feeding it text to copy, which was a, a random position um, from this list, has to equal what they had. Um, print, had a kid, because that's them winning, right? Um, and in addition to that, I'm going to change score at position zero, which was us, to be whatever it was before. And I'm just going to give us a point. Now, there's so many different ways for us to, to lose, right? We could have do it too slow. We could uh, do it incorrectly. Um, so what 
it's easier instead of running through all those different scenarios just to use an if and else. So there's only one way for us to win if both of those things are true. Um, so otherwise, uh, I'm going to print basically this. Print total bomber and score position one. The reason why I include these messages right here um, is the amount of times that you create like some if statements and you are adding to both this position and this position because both things are true. Um, if you don't use an else, obviously. Uh, it actually happens quite a bit. So having little prints that come in um, only if a certain thing is true uh, is kind of a nice way to check your, check your program. Okay, now I want to return the score. So if I do return score, now remember score is a list like this, right? So basically what I did is I just updated it um, right here, and now I'm going to return it. So here's my game round. Remember, when I return score, this game round is going to be whatever score is now. So I'm going to have to put score is equal to game round. And that will update, um, update the score. So what I want to do is now that I have a new updated score is to say something about it. So print um, your score is, ooh, I guess I can just do it like this, uh, dot, dot format, uh, score at position zero. And then I want to print basically that same exact thing. The computer score is that same thing at position one. All right. Guaranteed I made a mistake in there somewhere, but let's run and see what happens. Okay, so far so good. You'll be given a message, type it back. Not only does it have to be perfect, it has to be done in less than 15 seconds. So that random uh, text speed one must have been 15. Okay, click enter to begin. I click enter. Type this text. Be prepared is the best Disney song. Okay. So be prepared is the best Disney song. Okay. Um, now, one thing that I, I kind of noticed is it didn't give me, like I, I did it in less than 15 seconds. Um, but I didn't know exactly how long it is, so I'm just going to improve my program just a hair and say after I get the stop time and the total time, I'm going to print it took you a total time. It took us this many seconds. An extra parenthesis there. So now when I run it, it uh, has to be done in less than 19 seconds. Okay, same one. Be prepared is the best Disney song. So it took me nine seconds and I, I score a point. So let's just test some things out here. Gastly's the best Pokemon. So if I just type this, it definitely took me less than um, 15 seconds, but it wasn't even close to what they, they said. So I lose that point. Um, and vice versa, if I say you have 13 seconds to do this, if I type pickle shoes, now I'm going to type it just so perfect. But I'm going to wait 13 seconds and make sure that I, I don't make it by the time uh, for the time component. I don't know how long this will take. Well, it should take 13 seconds, but. It's probably been 13 seconds. Okay. Cool, it took me 28 seconds. That's a total bummer. And uh, this has an added bonus of being able to check that our wild true loop has a proper break. The computer score is two. Uh, you're a disgrace, go cry in the corner. Sounds like a great afternoon. Um, because their score at position two uh, broke, their score at position one got to two, and so it broke. Uh, and it properly um, printed the correct message. So it looks like everything, uh, everything works uh, except for me winning one for humanity.